it's me, Gabi. I'm a wife, a mom, a chef, and a cookbook author based in LA. I'm a firm believer, and bringing friends around the table to share delicious eats is always a bonus. I have a pretty incredible group of friends who are crushing it in life, but sometimes they need a little help in the kitchen, and that's where I come in. I look professional with that. <laughs> Grab a glass, pull up a chair, and see what I'm cooking in my best friend's kitchen. I can promise you, you'll be upset. I'm here. Thanksgiving is almost here, and one of my dear friends, Hillary Duff, called me last week to talk some recipe ideas, and I said, why don't I just come over and cook with you? So here I am with my pie, and we're going to put ourselves to work. I sent her the menu. She did the grocery shopping. Her kitchen is also beautiful, and I can't wait to show you. Let's go say hi. Hello. I'm so good. Uh, made you a little pie. Of course you did. I know. I'm the, I'm the friend with the most. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. Are you ready to Thanksgiving? I am. I'm so excited. I mean, we're making quite a bit of food. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm prepped and ready for you. Thanksgiving will never be easier. Oh, sounds like a dream. So I brought the pie, but we're not going to make dessert today. We're just going to do all the savory sides and the turkey breast. That's the important stuff for me. True. Here's what we're making today. We're making this roasted turkey breast that has an herb crusted topping because we need that skin. This is probably like a five pound turkey breast. It would feed probably five to six people. I'm thinking when you do a turkey breast, it's roughly a three quarters of a pound per person. But you could easily do two turkey breasts and still have no less question. work than a big bird. It takes up less time. It takes up less space in your oven. It's amazing. And it still has so much flavor. We're making chipotle mashed sweet potatoes. Yum. I feel like it's a nod to our <gasps> roots. Like you grew up in Texas. I grew up in Arizona. We yeah. need some chipotle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Garlic, green beans, and cream kale. Mm, I've never made cream kale. You could do a cream spinach too, but we're gonna do kale because it's a little heartier. Great. That's our menu. Simple, traditional, nothing complicated. Are the sweet potatoes mashed? Yes. Do you, we'll talk about that later, but I have some opinions on sweet potatoes. Okay. Okay. All I'm right. sure you do, Bobby. <laughs> she has lots of opinions. We have a That's lot of opinions. Her. Okay, let's make the herb situation. Okay. Tell These me what to do, chef. Very sharp. We have some sage, we've got thyme, and some rosemary. Okay, so let's just like pull off some of the rosemary. You can just discard like this bit. We don't need it. Okay, but do I need to, like, I never w know about this, these little off sprigs, so yeah, I like, like to do better? The, no, you're doing pretty good, but okay. like the woodsy part, like this brown it's situation, tough. yeah, like we don't want that in our delicious turkey skin, okay, okay. right? Okay, I'm gonna throw some thyme in there. When you do your thyme, do you just like skin it like that? Yeah, just like this, I'll show you. I mean, thyme's a little complicated because there's so many other leaves, but I just pull down just like that and right okay. in there. Okay, that's perfect. Do you know how to cut them? Slice them up, like finely. Okay. Okay, so you do that. We're gonna put that in here. I'm gonna grab some olive oil. And then this is just gonna go in here with the herbs and some garlic. And this mixture, we're gonna put both under the skin and on top of the skin. And we're... Are you horrified by the way that I'm doing this? No, your knife skills are pretty amazing. Okay. And you have like a lovely manicure, which is hard to chop with, in my opinion. You can put garlic in this with the skin. <gasps> and then it comes out and it's just like so heavy duty, it's no problem. Like, look at Wait, that. Wait, but are we eating the skin? No, there's no, I mean, these were peeled. I peeled these ahead of time. So what happens with the skin? If you had the skin here, you would just do this and like peel the skin right off. It's a dream. So it doesn't go through the holes? No, it's That's a cool. dream. Here Did I do this fine enough? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Throw that into the bowl. It smells so good. I mean, it's Thanksgiving, guys. This is Maldon, and it's got like this nice big, I mean, I'm just going to put this in there because Because we're, we're fancy we're like that. <laughs> it's the holidays, baby. But it's like a lovely finishing salt. It's, lo it's not like overly salty. It just has a great flavor. Too. How much of this did you want? I've done probably like six or seven cracks. Two, three more. Do you love pepper? Yeah. I do too. And like the crispy turkey skin is everything. Okay, so let's just mix this together. <gasps> With her finger. I mean, it, they are clean. <gasps> Nobody <Wow>. panic. <laughs> okay, so when you make your whole turkey at home or on a normal day, do you put it under the yes, skin? Yes, I separate that gross little membrane situation. Yep. So you just kind of take your hands and go underneath the bird. Mm -hmm. um, we forgot the lemon. So, I mean, I typical, it. I always forget something. So let's just do a little, like, maybe grab one lemon and we'll zest it. Okay. And put that in on top so it gives way to do things. Okay, so zest the whole lemon. Zest the whole lemon. 
and just throw it. Yep, perfect. And you can, we'll probably juice the lemon and throw it into the basting liquid. That's perfect. Gorgeous. Okay, let's just mix that around. Mm. Yeah, right? It smells good, everyone. Look at this. Okay, so wow, this. Wow, she's pretty. She's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish putting this on. Do you wanna just hit this with a little extra salt and pepper? Yes, I was thinking. Then that. we've got rosemary, thyme, a little bit of, what else did we put here? Sage, olive oil, garlic. Okay, so we've got our turkey breast ready to go. I'm gonna give you this, but we don't want it to cook in its juices, so I'm gonna make a bed of onions. I'm just gonna slice this. You're gonna leave them bigger. I'm gonna like cut them into rounds. You do like a pre-run of Thanksgiving. Oh, I do a pre-run of Thanksgiving because I get so nervous that I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> One year, I nailed the turkey. It was actually the best turkey I've ever had. Golden, beautiful, stunning, Oh my moist. God, the skin was crispy. It was moist. It was like salty in the best way, like flavorful, and then on Thanksgiving, I served a raw turkey to everyone. <laughs> we were cutting it, and my mom actually got in my head. She was like, it's done, it's done. And I was like, there's no way it's done. It cooked way too fast. See the onions, they kill me. Yeah, oh, well, you, you I should, didn't even cut, I'm just holding. You should tell everybody what you normally have to do when you're cutting onions. If we weren't here and I wasn't here to cut an onion, this lady would be wearing goggles. Goggles. If you don't have onion goggles and the onions bother your eyes, invest in some. <laughs> Guys, there. I just, I'm just gonna show you now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a look. It's a vibe. Nothing's okay. ever been more fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> they really work. Okay, she's beautiful. Yeah. She's on a bed of onions. The last thing I'm gonna do is add some wine. Some white wine. Do we wine. get to drink some of that wine? Yeah, we sure do. Why don't, we can get some glasses out at the same time. But we're just gonna pour in like a cup of wine, white wine, any kind of white wine's fine, but something you'd actually drink. Okay. Um, because that's gonna give it a little bit of a steam and it's just gonna have a little bit more flavor and it's gonna make your house smell delish. How do you measure out your wine like that? With your heart. Oh, We're gonna have a good time, she's gonna have a good time. Okay, she's going in. You might have to turn her. Oh, no. She fit. Okay, so normally when you're doing a turkey, you would have some basting liquid from everything that was on the bird and there would be like more dripping. Right. Since we don't have that, we're gonna do a quick little butter stock situation. Okay. So you wanna turn that on. Mm -hmm. It's gonna melt some butter and some stock. And we're doing this because a regular bird is like a lot bigger, there's a lot more juices, and we don't have that with the breast, and we wanna baste it with something. So you could use chicken stock, you could have turkey stock. You could okay. honestly use vegetable stock, beef stock, whatever. You okay. just want something. You want some juice. Want something a little flavorful. So like a quarter cup of that, and half of the thing of butter. Tell me all the tricks. Let's put some lemon zest in it as Ooh, well. Oh yes. Right? because we didn't juice the lemon and we need a little bit more. Okay, all you. Throw some pepper in there. We're gonna melt that. And then like every 30 minutes- Is that while, enough? That's perfect. Okay. While this is going, let's just give this a little stir. I could do that job. I know, this looks perfect. Okay, okay cool. so let's just let this simmer. I feel like we pour wine and, and wait. Ready? 